someone's had a stroke, then um, it's the first time they've had to think about a future with impairments, um, physical disability, and it can be quite frightening. The main thought probably, I would assume, going through their heads is, how am I going to come out of this? patients are quite often quite emotional they're going through an adjustment process that really takes time and can take many years to even adjust if if you actually ever do when you have something happen to you which completely changes your whole world it's difficult anyway to hold on to to remember who you are one of the kind of defining things that they talk about is a sense of loss of identity of who they are, of what their role is. It's very hard to feel a connection with your real life. The world outside seems like a movie. It's like a movie I can't be part of. that there would be a time of the day when with other people I could do something creative and expressive was really exciting. I'm very supportive of the dance group. There's a lot of value in terms of mood, um, engagement, communication uh, and bonding that isn't specifically focused on their rehab goals. It's really important that we allow spaces for those important aspects of being human that don't necessarily happen on a ward or a rehab unit. And it's good to do something different. It's like a breath of fresh air, it's something that's social, it's something that they look forward to. It gives the, the patient a sense of well-being, gives them a sense of purpose, it gives them a sense of accomplishment and I just think that's vital in terms of rehab. I've seen the difference in the patients when they've come back from a session like that where they just feel a bit more connected to themselves. These groups are really quite good for not just elevating mood but just an awareness of mood as well and um, just allowing a moment to be upset about something or to be happy about something. And I can imagine that a group like that, especially when you're focusing on the body, is a very nice centering activity. In physiotherapy sessions, patients put on themselves a lot of expectations and sometimes that can be a positive but sometimes it can hinder them. Whereas going to the movement group, that they don't have these expectations so they can be more free in their movements and more sense of enjoyment. And it's not directed at their, what they can't do, it's more bringing up what they can do and how that they can express themselves in their own way. Because you're using all of your body, you're, I've never done them type of moves before in my life but I, 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 I do enjoy these sessions, yes. This particular patient that I've been working with has described how the music helps to connect him with um, a different part of himself. So it's helped his self-confidence and generally fed into what the work that we've been doing as therapists. Overwhelmingly, it's been a positive experience for the staff. Everybody has had an experience of working with a patient who has directly benefited from being in the group and a lot of staff members have actually learned something new about the patient that they're working with and actually they find it difficult when the group is not running and would really prefer the group to be running um, all of the time. Within the movement group it helps with your sensory systems so either through mental imagery which can help to focus on your affected side um, the use of touch um, and the use of imagining different sensations going through your arm and it can help to rebuild those neural pathways, improve their body schema and improve their um, sensory homunculus in their brain as well. But it's enabled people to connect with the images that are there 
possibly most of the time, but just without their conscious awareness of it. And through focusing on those things within the group, it becomes more of a focus for them when they come into the psychology sessions. They do suffer, I think you're under a shower where someone comes around and taps your head like that. Yes, and they thinking it's water coming on your head, yeah. We were thinking of words to kind of um, describe how these different types of touch felt on our body. And I thought, actually, I need a new vocabulary. I suppose it kind of got me thinking about my legs and my lower half not having so much just gone, but having transformed into something different. The idea that they then move with these bodies that are affected and are not working in the way that they were before their stroke is a bit like facing the elephant in the room. And I think that that can actually really help their whole self-esteem and help them perceive their bodies in a more positive way for um, getting better and moving into the future and more independence. The sessions, they somehow helped me feel a connection with who I really am, who I was going to be outside. It was useful for my transition. It helped me have some confidence that I'm still there and when I get out into my environment I'll still be able to be in it. I won't have to change everything about me. It helped me to love my body a little bit more, I suppose, or to at least have a positive relationship. Um, with what's left.